Hey everyone, welcome to my new home studio, and this is a Data Video Tech Tips video. Now, if there's anything more intimidating than streaming the one platform, it would have to be streaming the two simultaneously. However, it's a lot easier than you think, and we're going to show you how, in real time, to stream to YouTube and Facebook at the same time with the NVS34 right now. All right, so step one is to connect to the NVS34's web interface. The easiest way to do that is to connect your NVS34 to a Wi-Fi router that's connected to the internet, and then connect your Mac or PC to that router. Now, when you connect your NVS34 out of the box to your router, it's going to assign a random IP address to it. And we need to know what that is to connect to it using our browser. So you can use the Data Video IP Finder app on a PC, and on a Mac, you could manually find it through the network settings, but there's an easier way. There's an app called Fing that's available on the App Store and Google Play Store. Now you can find just about any other IP scanner app that should work. However, this one is free. You don't have to sign up for anything and it's easy to use. So make sure your smartphone is connected to the same network as your NVS34. Open the app and let's scan for devices. Now Archer A5 is the router. And since there were no other devices connected to this, we can only assume that generic is the NVS34. So let's go ahead and enter in 192.168.0.100 into our internet browser. The default username for the NVS34 is admin and the default password is six zeros. So now that we're in the interface, let's go ahead and go over to operation mode. We're going to scroll down, make sure we're in RTMP as stream type, and we're going to need the RTMP URL and stream name from Facebook and YouTube. So let's open up two new tabs for Facebook and YouTube. On Facebook to start streaming, click on the Live button next to Create Post on your homepage. On YouTube, there's an icon in the upper right that is a video camera with a plus sign. Go ahead and click that, then click Go Live. Going back to Facebook, make sure you have Use Stream Key selected there's our server URL and there's our stream key. YouTube has the same thing. So let's go ahead and copy our stream URL and paste it into the RTMP URL for stream number one. Copy the stream key. We're gonna paste it under stream name. For Facebook, same thing, server URL, copy, paste, stream key, copy and paste. Click apply. All right, I think we're ready to stream. Let's click Start Stream. Now let's go over to YouTube. And here I am. There's a bit of a delay, but that's how the RTMP protocol works. So on YouTube here, I'm already streaming. On Facebook, I could make a title and a description, and then click Go Live. All right, so that's it. It's that easy to stream the two platforms simultaneously on the Data Video NVS 34. For more information and tutorials on streaming and how to use your NVS 34, click on the links in the description below. Don't forget to like us on all our social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next Data Video Tech Tips. Tail slate.